Hi beauties, how's everybody doing? Thanks for joining me. Welcome back to another segment of my What I'm Liking and Not So Much. And today I do have another special guest. So if you guys would like to see the products that I'm liking and maybe not liking, and also who my special guest is, keep on watching. Okay, so my special guest today is a beautiful lady I just recently met. I actually met her from Susie Clancy. I'm going to put a link down to Susie Clancy's uh, channel also. I've known Susie for a very, very, very long time. And she's, I, I know for a majority of you guys who know her, she is near and dear to my heart. And I really... Uh, enjoy Susie very much and a shout out video to Ranilyn uh, Naipo. I'm not sure. I hope I'm pronouncing your full name correctly, but I believe it's Ranilyn Naipo and she is actually from Hawaii. So I cannot even imagine living in Hawaii. I know my dad was stationed there for four years and I used to always say to him, oh my gosh, I, I could totally see myself if I won the big buku bucks, I could see that being a second home. I'd probably have here and there um, two homes that I would probably go back and forth to. Ranilyn, I, like I said, got to know from Susie and she, I just love her energy. She has this full on burst of energy. She is very knowledgeable. I enjoy that. She is a total lipstick uh, junkie like me, as I call it. She loves her lipsticks, lip glosses, any, any lip products. But yeah, if you guys would go ahead and check out Ranilyn, I will put her video link down below so you can check out hers to see what maybe she's liking, maybe not liking. Maybe give her a thumbs up and subscribe if you like and show some love. All right, let's go ahead. And I actually this week did not seem to find anything that I'm not liking, which I always say that's a good thing. So uh, for skincare, I thought I'd bring out, I had mentioned these in past videos before. I think I'm almost done with this, but I did drop it on the floor and a little bit came out and I was so mad because I really like this stuff. And it's from the Skin Lab Company. It's a treatment serum. serum. Uh, it's collagen elastin hydrate to firm and tone. It's called lift. It's called lift and firm is what it's actually called. I went on their site and they do sell this on there and it's not too bad of a price. It's a pretty reasonable price and I got mine actually in TJ Maxx. So I'm going to see what other skin lab products they have whenever I get a chance because I do, I, will purchase this. If they have this, I think I got it for like five, seven bucks or something. I can't remember. The next product here is a company called, um, it looks like Scalisi. Scalisi. Is that how you pronounce that? I hope so. I butcher, I know I butcher words. I do. I butcher words. This is a cleanser and exfoliator. A company did reach out and send me a couple products. I think it was this and I do still have the moisturizer. There's like a, a daytime moisturizer that had an SPF <coughs> in it and both products have been really good. I really like them. They're really nice products. This, I really like the cleanser. It's it's kind of a milky substance and you can feel the granules um, really exfoliating in your skin. It almost reminds me of because I had seen uh, Laura Shake Up for Makeup, put a link down below to her channel as well, I'm trying the Dr. Brandt. Um, I'm trying to remember what the product was, but anyway, I told her, I said, oh my gosh, I love, I had like a super sample, super sample. Is there such a thing as a super sample, super size, whatever they call it? No, there's no super size sample. What the heck? I don't know. <laughs> anyway, whatever they call them samples, <laughs> it's not super size. I can't think of the word. My mind's blank today, as you can tell. And anyway, she, I told her about the micro, uh, micro embrasion, uh, cleanser. There's like a cleanser exfoliator. Oh my goodness. It, this almost reminds me of that a little bit. 
a little bit of different texture, but it does remind me of that. And I feel like it really buffs and cleans the skin as it's exfoliating. And it's just, it's really nice. Uh, another product that I had, had sent me actually was the Studio Gear uh, Prime Object Objective Skin Perfecting Face Primer. Whew. That's a lot to say, but... I did a review video. I did it on my blog. I'll post my blog link down below if anybody's interested because I do, sometimes I have stuff on there that I don't actually get to review on my channel because sometimes I feel like I have an overload and I don't want to like overload everybody with videos, <laughs> with reviews. So sometimes I just do some on my blog and I'm trying to do both at the same time. It can be pretty tricky. I will say that, but yeah, I did a video on this and I also did a blog on this and it is a really good primer. It has really held up for my makeup and yeah, it, it's a really good primer. So go into eyes. I have three eyeliners here and I have really liked them all. I thought they all worked pretty good. They do all work pretty good. One I still have, the other two are kind of dried up and pretty much seen their day kind of a thing. It's the BH Liquid Eyeliner. It's just a simple black eyeliner. Nice, as you can see, tip. Um, there is still some in there, I guess, you know, but it's really kind of not as dark as it was. It's kind of fading away. This one I really liked. This is from CoverGirl and it's Intensify Me. Um, eyeliner. This one I really liked because I felt like if you were somebody that had a problem with doing a wing liner, like if you hold it this way, it can make a fat line. And then if you turn it this way, it'll make a skinny line. It's, it's a really nice one. It's, it's seen its day. Uh, it's kind of dark a little bit when I'm doing it the other way, but it's kind of seen its day. So those are two that I'm going to be getting rid of but they are eyeliners that I really do like. This is one of the eyeliners from L'Oreal. It's the, from the uh, Silka, Silka Smee, Silka Smee, I don't know. It's from that line. <laughs> it's from that line, you know. This one is the one they call Nude. I don't know, to me it's not really quite nude because, and I do use it a lot in the waterline and you can use it in a tear duct, but, it kind of gives a little iridescence to it, which speaking of, another area I like to put it is right here in the inner tear duct area to kind of brighten it. See how that brightens it up a little bit? I like to do it there too, because it does brighten really nice. And I do put it in the, um, like I said, water, uh, water line area and Kind of like how I have this look right now. I have it in waterline. My eyes look too closed in if I put something a little more deeper and darker colors on my eyes. So, all right, the next product I'm going to go ahead and share with you guys is a concealer from the company called Coors. This is a concealer corrector. This is another one I got from HSN. I got like several Coors items. This one really brightens. As you can see under my eyes, it's pretty bright under there. Um, it gives a really nice coverage under the eyes. It does have some skincare properties in there. So I know I never have a problem with it creasing or anything. I, I do like the Coors line. I have tried several things from them. Another product I've been using a good bit, and sometimes I use this as a setting powder. Sometimes I use this whenever I use a BB cream or a CC cream. There's only like three I think three that I can think of powder type foundations that I really do like. This is the Laura Geller Balance and Brighten. I swear I have had this for a while now and I still have a nice bit in there. I mean the dip part's gone like where you, you get the little dip there so I'm sure at some point I'll be hitting pan here but I love the Balance and Brighten. All right, next product. I haven't used this for a while and I pulled it out and it is the Hula Bronzer from Benefit. And it is a really nice bronzer for my skin tone. I know most people seem to really like this and, you know, I, I keep this brush in here. I actually use 
that brush whenever I apply the bronzer along to contour and everything I do and you know probably mostly know this bronzer here it, it's just a perfect shade for me it really is it's just the perfect shade for my skin tone and the next product is you can't see the name <laughs> we're off on there but this is a little mini me of a becca opal <laughs> mini me I have to laugh when I say that, but oh my goodness, Opal. I don't know. See, I was playing around with Jaclyn Hill's Champagne Pop uh, shade, and I really do like that. But honestly, if I had to pick out of the two, I think Opal would be my favorite out of the two. Uh, I don't know. I just, I really feel like Opal's definitely my favorite, I think out of the two of them right now. I pulled out an oldie, not an oldie oldie, but um, another Mally product. I've been going through some of my Mally products that I have. This is from her Face Defender line. This is a Face Defender blush and it's in Soft Raspberry. And they came in these cute little pink, small little square compacts. This was my favorite shade. I have the peach, I think I have the peach one. So there was a peach one, a pink one, and then this raspberry shade. Oh, and these blushes are very pigmented. Really, really pigmented. They're really nice right there. I love this shade, especially right now. This is a gorgeous color to wear. I don't know. If she still has these available, you could search on Google or maybe I'll have something down below for you guys. Two palettes. I know I've just shown them not too long ago. I know I've done a review on the one. I'm not sure when my look, my look might already have been put up a video because I'm doing a look with the one palette and it might already been up. So if it is, I can put links to those down below. I cannot stop using these two palettes here the master uh master palette by mario uh the anastasia palette and the kat von d metal matte palette i seem to keep grabbing both of these like today i have this one on and i do have that beautiful beautiful gold shade that's in here um what is it the flash the flash shade right here and I did use this in along with fringe this shade called fringe which is like a peachy tone that's pretty much what I have on my eyes today and I, I like this palette this one here because it does have a little more bolder shades and there's like all kinds of looks that you could come up with you could come up with a smoky you come up with a neutral shade or a neutral look you can come up with all different kinds of looks with this palette so I, I think that's why I keep pulling this one out and plus it's been fun I love Kat Von D and then the Anastasia Mario palette oh my goodness I mean yeah this is just this is a beautiful palette too I mean this one you can still do some smoky looks and some neutral looks um like I said the Kat Von D is just a little more bolder so if you want to step it up a notch as they say that's kind of why I've been using the Kat Von D one pretty good. So, uh, lastly, on my lips today, I have this one. It's the Mega Shine Lip Gloss from uh, NYX Beige. Now, I, you'll never see the writing on here, even if I put by the camera. I know you're not going to. Um, I remember the only thing with this cough syrup smell to it. That was the only thing that put me off because I'm used to the... Uh, butter glosses or something like that they smell like cookies or icing or something and these ones this one smells more like cough syrup but it is the color beige which is so weird because to me it doesn't look like beige it's more of a pink 
tone, but that's what it's called, beige. I did put a nude kind of lipstick on and then put this on top. All right, beauties, thanks so much for joining me. I really appreciate that. Don't forget to check out Ronalyn's uh, video. I'll have the link down below so you can go and check it out. So don't forget to uh, see what she's liking and not liking, maybe. If you did like this video, please give me a thumbs up. I'd appreciate that very much, and that would help me out a lot. Also, get me to um, a little more noticed out there. Also, help me get some of the videos out and everything for you guys. So, and if you are not subscribed to my channel, I would love to have you. You can go ahead and click the subscribe button down below, and you can join me each week. And as always, bees, please remember to be yourself, love yourself, and let the road be to shine through. So, until the next time, you take care. I will see you then. Love you guys. Bye.